welcome to week two. Today is Wednesday. I have been working and then I went to the post office because we don't have like a washing machine for our clothes here. Uh, we have it downstairs in the basement and to book it you have or to make it work you have to put in a 10 kroner coin. So you need to have with you all the time 10 kroner so you can wash your clothes. So one coin is one hour. And since it's very difficult to find coins in Norway because everything here, everyone pays with the card, uh, the only place we can like take out coins is in the post office. So I went there and just like asked the guy to give me a lot of coins. So now we have coins for a long, long time. While I was there, I also posted a, uh, a postcard, a letter, for my mom to Portugal. Okay, the whole situation in the post office was a bit like end of the world. Firstly, the guy who sits in the desk had a whole glass in front of him, like between me and him. And they use this like fruit boxes, plastic box in front of the desks. They put like a tower of boxes. I guess it's to keep distance, like for people to keep keep distance uh, from the people who work there. So I was like talking very, very far away from the guy and he was standing behind the glass with gloves, not with a mask, but with gloves. Then when I sent the letter, I told him like, I want to send this letter to Portugal. And he was like, oh, I just need to check if we can send it to that country. He checked on a list and he's like, yeah, yeah, we can send it. And I asked him, but are there countries you can't send letters? And he's like, yeah, yeah, there's many countries that are not accepting post. For example, he told me uh, Spain, Italy and some places in Asia. He could send a letter to Portugal. I needed to sign a lot of papers and to give him my ID. He registered like my ID number, everything. So it was definitely very strange. And then I went to the supermarket because we were missing some food already, like onions, garlic, olive oil, stuff like that. The supermarket was filled with stuff, so nothing missing. Not even flour this time. <laughs> So today there was a problem with the connection to my work computer. So instead this morning I was working uh, with my blog, so writing a new blog post. And now I made a quiche for lunch, quiche with salad. I think it looks quite good. It's a, a leek and tomato and pepper quiche with some uh, salad. I guess today it's all going to be about food and cooking and baking because I've just made a bread. I made, I think in uh, English it's called cornbread. In Portuguese it's broad milho and it's looking good everything's a bit full of flour but i don't care now it has to rest for almost one hour before it goes to the oven and it's supposed to grow double its size fingers crossed <laughs> one hour later and it looks good to go Ta-da! It is a new day, but the same outfit. And I just received a package from a brand called JJ House. I was very excited to receive this package. It is basically a brand for weddings and special occasions. They have dresses, uh, hats, shoes, but I think like the main thing are the dresses. And since I have a couple of weddings at the end of this year, they were kindly enough to send me some of the dresses, three dresses of my choice. The prices are quite all right for the type of dresses they sell. And you can choose from so many different colors and you can even give them like your measurements and they will do the dress for you, for your type of body. That's what they did for me. I sent them like my body measurements and they did the dresses for me 
with the colors I wanted, which is amazing. These are the three dresses I ordered. I'm so excited to try them. I also ordered a hat, like a fedora hat and some fancy shoes. I didn't have this kind of black fancy shoes. I want you guys to write in the comments which one do you love the most? Which one is your favorite? Okay, I have the first dress on and I put on the hat, the fedora. I'm loving the hat. The dress, I love the color. It could be a little bit tighter here, but I guess that was my fault I give give a little bit extra on the sides because I was afraid <laughs> but still quite on point I think okay dress number two it's the pink one I'm in love with this dress it's so comfortable I keep doing this because all the dresses have like filling in the boobies so you don't need to wear a bra which is like it's uneven down there which I think it's cool I like the bow thing as well but the back is my favorite. I don't know if you can see, but the back are kind of like, are super open. And dress number three, the green one, I chose this color. It's one of my favorite colors. It has this lovely, um, oh, how do you call this in English? In Portuguese it's renda, but you know, this kind of fabric, which I love, that goes on your shoulders. And the back is quite open bottom part is like the first dress Ooh. I will leave a link to their website on the description box of this video and I will also write down the name of my dresses with the links and the name of the colors I chose for each dress so if you guys are interested just snoop around they have amazing amazing wedding dresses I truly recommend <laughs> Today is Saturday and I decided to start on a puzzle and this is how far I came. Okay, so I have almost the like frame around it almost done. That's all I could do until now. This is how it's supposed to look like at the end. So wish me luck. <laughs> it's Sunday and I have been uh, basically cleaning the balcony because 
good weather is coming and since we cannot go outside I thought it was a good idea to have like a nice clean pretty balcony so I have been doing that and if you remember my last vlog I had these potatoes in the water they have small little leaves already growing up and they also have roots so I'm going to plant them now outside in the pot Meanwhile, I bought these flowers. They're called Easter flowers, I think, at least these yellow ones. And I'm going to plant them in these pots later on here in the kitchen. I have this extra pot and I still have some seeds from last year. So I think I'm going to try and plant some in this pot. I'm not sure, maybe it's too early because it's, it's still quite cold here in Norway. I might have to put them inside, but I don't know. I have spinach, rucola and lettuce. I think I might try the lettuce. Those ones are already in the pots and I had to go to the office and salvage my office plant. I already cut like the dead leaves and these are not looking so alive but i'm hoping she will survive i'm going to put her in this bigger pot with like new soil and i also want to put like soil inside this one but she's looking good she just needs more space to grow washing clothes and now I'm going to continue this puzzle. I think I came quite far. Today is Tuesday and the last day of this vlog. Um, basically today I worked and worked. I worked quite a lot. I have a lot to do. Uh, with the office, of course, I'm working at home. So now I'm preparing dinner. I'm making soup and I'm going to make some um, avocado toasts. Ta-da! And dinner is ready. I also wanted to quickly show you how our puzzle is going. We're quite far. It's only these two big like world maps we're missing. I'm quite tired today, but before I say goodbye, I just wanted to explain to you guys because some of you send me messages asking uh, why we were like going on a walk on the other vlog, like if we can go out. So the situation here in Norway is that it's not an obligatory quarantine. Um, so there's many stores still open. Some people are still working in their offices, so it's not obligatory to everyone to stay at home. It's advised to stay at home. And what exists here is the social distancing rule. So we need to stand at least two meters from each other uh, in stores as well. You need to have at least one meter distance from each other. Of course, schools and social events and like cinemas and stuff like that are closed but besides that everything is quite normal we can go out if we want we can go on a walk we can go to the beach we just need to keep distance from other people i still want to say that i think it's very important that you do quarantine even if you're not obligated to so we are staying at home most of the time as you see here in the vlogs and i hope you guys are safe and i'll see you on my next video. Bye!